The first thing we teach people to do is to think self-critically, truly and lucidly. If they can't put together the thoughts, they cannot write them clearly or speak them with passion and conviction and thus persuade others to their message. In the late 80s, Reed Buckley thought about how to begin a testing workshop to teach executives how to express themselves with poise under any circumstances. The result was the opening of the Buckley School in Camden, South Carolina in 1988, where a gracious environment under expert instruction helps executives, professionals, and students acquire a whole new way of expressing themselves. Presentations by executives and professionals are too often verbose, dull, cliché-ridden, jargon-filled, obtruse, and unconvincing. And far too often, nothing more than a progression of deadly slides leading from nowhere to nowhere or to sleep. If you can't think clearly and express what you think clearly by speech or in writing, you're lost because you can't get across complex notions. You can't get across your point. If you can't get across your point, why do you open your mouth? You've got to learn how to think critically, critical of yourself, to think lucidly, plainly, simply, and then how to get your point across. If you are un unable to do this either by the grace of your expression or by the power of your written prose, it's useless, it's a waste of time. We want everybody who comes to the school and everybody who benefits from a subscription or a scholarship from the foundation to learn what he has been deprived of in school. The school is unique in so many ways and it emanates from Reed Buckley's personality, his style and his approach to teaching and the world, I guess is where that begins. First of all, they managed to compress into two days public speaking training that people sometimes take a semester, a year to get, and we get results, and we do it by giving immediate feedback and asking people to change the way they perform on the spot. And really think about things you haven't thought about in a long time and how you can be persuasive. So to learn how to take your message and craft it in a way that it can appeal not to the people who agree with you but to the people who don't agree with you and 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 that's such a value if you're out there speaking on behalf of a cause we hear from people after every seminar i don't know a seminar i've worked when we don't hear from students who tell us this seminar changed my life and we take away the fear of that and and free them to do the things they want to do because they no longer have to fear that one little thing which is stepping up in front of an audience and speaking where we help people straighten out their thinking, make their thinking keener, more intellectually interesting, and make it original where possible, and to help them express their thinking in a fashion that neither bores the audience nor mystifies the audience because of bad prose, bad English, bad jargon.